everyone. Welcome to Kundalini Yoga. Today we are going to do a Kriya that's going to help with relaxation and just calming the mind. It is called Kriya for Metabolism and Relaxation. So hopefully you'll find some inner peace today during the Kriya and hopefully you're able to practice outside maybe depending on where you are. It is almost autumn here. Just come to rest in easy pose, closing the eyes down, focusing at the third eye between the brows. Hands resting in Gyan Mudra, with the thumb and index fingertips touching. And bringing yourself to be fully here. Allowing yourself this time for you to focus inward and letting any thoughts that enter your mind gently drift by. Gently letting them go for now. And bring yourself to be present. Grounding yourself down onto your mat or cushion, straightening the spine. Shoulders relaxed, engaging neck lock by gently tucking the chin to elongate the neck. Starting to become aware of your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Long, deep breathing. Fully inhaling and exhaling. At times, if you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed, you can take a moment, just focus on your breathing. Long, deep breathing. Breathing in prana, life force energy. It'll help to quiet the mind, calm the mind. And bring the hands together into prayer pose at heart center. Start to rub the palms briskly together. Generating energy here and heat. And slowly bring the palms apart four to six inches. Holding here, becoming aware of any sensations between the palms. Slowly moving the hands in and out. Any sensations there between the palms. Bring them together again into prayer pose at heart center. We'll tune in with the Adi Mantra Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the infinite creative wisdom, the divine teacher within. Take a deep inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale to tune in. Om Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale, suspend the breath. Exhale. Slowly release the hands to rest again in Gya Mudra. Staying focused inward here, remaining still. And gently opening the eyes again. And the Kriya today is Kriya for metabolism and relaxation. The Kriya will involve some breath of fire, so one of our favorite um, pranayam breath breathing practice. And for, remember for breath of fire, please avoid this breath if you are pregnant or if you're on your moon cycle or it's that time of month for any uh, women joining. 
or if you have high blood pressure. If that's the case, then you can just do relaxed breathing in and out through the nose during those exercises. And please just respect your body. We're trying to push through some discomfort, but if you really need to take a break, please do so. And then get back into the exercise when you can. And remembering with breath of fire, it's really a pumping of the navel center. And it's a very quick breath in and out through the nose. So you are <laughs> pulling in the navel center on the exhale and then it's relaxing in the area of that third chakra on the inhale. So it looks like this. So just doing that and avoiding if you have any of those um, things that we mentioned just previously. And we will get into the Kriya. So today we'll do half time. You can always extend the practice. It says that this Kriya releases tension accompanied by nervousness. It also works on the upper triangle of chakras and stimulates the balance of the thyroid and parathyroid glands. Deep relaxation is a must for physical and mental health. This is an easy exercise series which derives its powerful effects from the sequence of glandular stimulation and the use of pranayam. It says it's easy. It's a um, little challenge you still. Don't worry. So we're going to come into rock pose. And if you need to, please bring a cushion in between the thighs and the lower legs and in this position we're going to bring our hands into venus lock for venus lock if you want to stimulate masculine energy you're going to have the left pinky on the bottom with the fingers interlaced and then the left thumb is going to be pressed into the mound between the right thumb and index finger if you want to stimulate feminine energy you'll be the opposite the right pinky on the bottom of the interlocked fingers and then the right thumb pressing into the mound between the left thumb and the index finger. So whichever you feel today. From this position, we're going to have the arms extended, the elbows locked. We're going to bring the arms up overhead first and take a deep inhale. And then we're going to suspend the breath in, followed by pumping the arms, bringing them to parallel and up three times. On that third time, when we're parallel to the ground, we're exhaling completely. Bring the arms up, inhale. Suspend the breath in. Exhale. Inhale, pump three. Exhale. We're going to do that for one minute. And then for that next minute, we're going to do the same thing. Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath in. And then pump the arms 10 times total. And then exhale when they're parallel. Bring them back up, inhale and repeating that way. So bringing the fingers to rest in, the hands to rest in Venus lock, closing the eyes down, focusing at the third eye point. Bring the arms up overhead. Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath and pump again three times. And exhale. Going at your own pace. Keeping the arm pumps powerful. Great job, keep up here. We're going to inhale up, suspend the breath in, and then pump the arms 10 times. Exhale, and repeat.
Great job. Keep up here. Almost there, once more. <sighs> Inhale up. Suspend the breath in, apply mole bond to root lock, tightening in the root chakra, sacral plexus, lower abdomen, push the energy all the way up to the crown chakra along the shishmuna, the central channel. And exhale, release the lock slowly, sweep the arms down. Rest for a moment here, remaining still. Breathing in and out through the nose. Staying connected inward to your experience and any sensations within. Slowly come to rest down on the back. We're going to do a leg lift with long, deep breathing. So from this position on the back, we're going to bring the hands again into a Venus lock. So for feminine energy, right thumb inside the fleshy mound between the left thumb and index finger, right pinky on the bottom. For masculine energy, the opposite. Left pinky on the bottom, left thumb in the mound there. We're going to bring the hands to rest behind the neck in Venus lock and we're going to lift that left leg up lifting it up about six inches or sorry two feet off the ground here we're going to remain for one minute with long deep breathing you can begin closing the eyes down focusing at the third eye point Engaging the navel center to stabilize the back, support your back. Long, deep breathing. Staying nice and relaxed in the face here throughout the exercise. Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale, gently lower the left leg. We're going to switch over, bringing the right leg up two feet in the air. And begin long, deep breathing. Eyes closed down, focused at the third eye. Staying connected to your breath. Keeping the back nice and flat against the mat. Calming the mind with your breath. You're doing awesome, stay strong here. Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale, lower the leg. Stay resting for a moment here on the back. Palms facing up to receive. And staying with your breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Okay. 
connecting inward to the stillness within. And then gently making your way up into easy pose. We'll have a series of pranayama, different breathing techniques, including some nostril breathing and nostril breathing and breath of fire combined. So something that might be a little different. We'll go through a series of breathing techniques here. And it says the series of breathing exercises opens the lungs and directs the nervous system to coordinate left and right hemisphere interaction, also activating the pituitary and pineal glands. So for the first one, we're going to do left nostril breathing, long, deep breathing. So we're going to block off the right nostril with the thumb of the right hand. And then the palm is just going to face to the left. Closing the eyes down, focusing at the third eye point. Begin long, deep breathing through the left nostril. Left hand is resting in Mudra. Mudra. Full inhales and complete exhales. Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath. Exhale. We're going to switch over to right nostril breathing, long and deep, covering the left nostril with the index finger of the right hand, and begin long, deep breathing, in and out through the right nostril. Eyes closed, focused at your third eye. Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath. Exhale. We're going to now inhale through the right nostril and exhale through the left. So you're going to be alternating blocking with the right thumb and the index finger. Inhaling through the right, exhaling through the left. And begin. Long, deep breathing.
Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale. Keeping the right hand up, we're going to do breath of fire. Inhaling through the left nostril and exhaling through the right. We can begin breath of fire. Inhale left, exhale right. Just doing your best with it. Stay strong here, powering from the navel point, from your third chakra. Inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale completely. We're going to do the same thing, but switching the hands. Inhaling right and exhaling left. Doing breath of fire. Inhaling right, exhale left. Keep up here, you're doing awesome. Stay with your breath of fire. Inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale. Inhale through both nostrils. Suspend the breath in. Exhale completely. Beautiful job with that pranayama series. Just take some breaths in and out through the nose. If you need a Kleenex, grab one <laughs> from the nostril breathing. We're going to come back onto our backs for a stretch pose, helping to balance our third chakra, also aids in digestion. So here in stretch pose, we're going to be doing breath of fire. And we'll be here for 90 seconds total. For a stretch pose, you're going to raise the feet and the head up about six inches off the ground. You can have the hands pointing down towards the toes, palms are down or at the sides. Really engage in the navel center to make sure you're protecting your back. If you can't have the arms up, you can have the hands behind your lower back to support it. Do the best you can. We're a breath of fire here, looking down towards the toes. And begin breath of fire. <laughs> Keeping the toes pointed, you've got this. Doing awesome, stay strong. Almost there, keep up. You're about halfway.
30 seconds left. Keep up here. Almost there. Inhale, let's spend the breath in. Exhale, apply mole bond. And release. Release the lock. Slowly lower down, resting on the back. Palms facing up to receive. Take some nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Awesome job with that stretch pose. Helping to balance your third chakra, solar plexus, center of power, the fire, the fire within. We're going to stay on our backs. That was a tough one. <laughs> I almost had trouble, I had trouble talking. <laughs> so that. We're going to stay on our backs. You come into a knee hug. This exercise stimulates the thyroid, opens up the sacral area, and relieves pressure of the intestinal gas. So bring the knees in tightly and toward the chest, and then the head is going to come up. So the knees are, the nose is kind of coming between the knees. And then around here, you're going to begin breath of fire. We'll be here for 90 seconds. Close the eyes down, focus at the third eye and begin with breath of fire. Holding in tight. Holding yourself. Really stimulating the navel center. Stay strong here. Less than a minute. Almost there. Keep up here. 40 seconds. Staying nice and relaxed in the face, calming the mind with the breath. And the eye focus at the third eye. Fifteen seconds. Inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale, slowly release down. Bring the legs out all the way, extend. Rest for a moment here on your back. Palms facing up to receive. Nice long deep breathing in and out through the nose. Connect to your experience, to any sensations within. I'm going to come up gently, keeping the legs extended for a life nerve stretch with long, deep breathing. It's going to stretch our sciatic nerve, which is known as the life nerve. Bringing the fingers to interlock around the big toe, um, index and middle finger wrapped around the big toe, thumb pushing into the nail bed. And then here, I'm going to bend forward and begin long deep breathing be here for 90 seconds eyes closed down focused at the third eye and try to keep the knees straight Go 
fully inhaling, expanding the lungs, and fully exhaling. Staying focused on your breath. Nice long deep breaths. Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath in. Apply Mool Bond or Root Lock, push the energy all of the central channel to the crown chakra. Exhale, release the lock, slowly round up. Vertebra by vertebra, hold still here. Breathing in out through your nose. Connect to sensations within and connecting to your experience. Coming gently to rest on the back. The last exercise before, well, second last one, but the last one is corpse pose. So it's our relaxation part of the Kriya. Coming to rest on the back, we're going to raise the head up about 12 inches, pointing the hands, the fingers down, parallel to the ground, toward the toes. We're gonna to close the eyes, focus at the third eye, and begin breath of fire. We're going to be here for 90 seconds. We've got this. And then we're going to go into deep relaxation. And let's come up and begin with breath of fire. Closing the eyes down, focusing on the third eye. Keeping the back nice and flat against the mat. Powering from the navel point. Doing awesome. Keep up here. Less than a minute to go. Almost there, 30 seconds. Almost there, stay strong. 10 seconds left. Inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Slowly spread the legs out. Bring the palms up to receive. And completely relaxing here. Closing the eyes down, focusing at the third eye. your time to absorb the effects of the Kriya for metabolism and relaxation. Sensing the stillness, inner peace within, connecting to that, completely relaxing the entire body, allowing yourself to melt down onto your mat. Relaxing your feet, lower legs, 
knees and thighs, relaxing in the pelvis and buttocks, relaxing your hands, wrists and arms, relaxing the shoulders, relax your lower back, mid and upper back, relax your stomach and chest. Relaxing your neck. Relax your chin and cheeks, ears, mouth, nose, and eyes. Relaxing your forehead, the top of your head, and the back of your head. Completely letting go. Slowly bringing yourself back to body awareness, coming back to your breath, starting to wiggle the toes and the fingers, rotating the wrists and the ankles, and gently switching direction. Take a deep inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Suspend the breath, point the toes, and stretch all the way through the body. Exhale, one more time, deep inhale. Stretch, 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 suspend the breath. And exhale. Bring the right knee up toward the chest, rolling over to the left for cat stretch, looking over the right shoulder.
Coming back to center. Bring the left knee up toward the chest and over to the right. Bring the left shoulder. Coming back to center. Bring both knees up. Rub the soles of the feet and the palms together. Simulating 72,000 nadis, energy channels in the body. Bring the knees in, rocking side to side. And gently rocking front to back a few times and making your way up into easy pose. Coming to rest in easy pose, closing the eyes down. Looking at the third eye. Hands resting in Gyan Mudra. Today's Kriya for metabolism and relaxation. Helping to calm the mind, any anxiety you may be feeling. Remembering that you have the power to calm your mind, find inner peace. Remembering that the t to take the time for yourself, to allow yourself that time to focus inward, to be within. Bring the hands together into prayer pose, center of the palms quickly together. Find the energy there and gently Bring them to rest again in prayer pose at heart center. We're going to close today's Kriya with the long time sun. First time singing for yourself, and the second time singing for others, someone you think may need it, and for the whole universe. Take a deep inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale for long time sun. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you. Guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. So no. May you continue to connect to your true nature, to your true self. Continue to find peace and stillness within, calming your mind, and continuing to love yourself and to be kind to others. Satnam. Satnam, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice, and I will see you again very soon. Much love.